I'm David Sayag. I'm a European board certified medical veterinary oncologist. This video shows the procedure for performing electrochemotherapy on a veterinary patient with cancer using the Electrovet EZ V4 from Leroy Biotech. Here we have Seraphine, a sweet domestic short hair cat with a stage 1 squamous cell carcinoma of the nasal planum. Cutaneous squamous cell carcinomas are very frequent in outdoor cats and account for approximately 10 to 15% of skin tumors. The development of this cancer has been linked to chronic exposure to UV radiation. In stage 1 disease, surgery, radiation therapy and electrochemotherapy can be used to locally control the disease. In my daily practice, electrochemotherapy is particularly recommended as a first-line treatment to avoid large surgery or multiple anesthesia associated with radiation therapy. Electrochemotherapy is a procedure aimed at increasing the intracellular concentration of cytotoxic agents via electroporation. It has also been shown to decrease tumor vascularization and activate a tumor antigen-directed immune response. The treatment with electrochemotherapy is easy to carry out and associated with a relatively low rate of adverse events. Practically speaking, the treatment consists of four steps. In the first step, we check for the correct indication of the treatment and the absence of contraindication. First of all, a definitive diagnosis was obtained with histopathological analysis of a tumor sample and a complete staging was performed. A complete blood test was carried out to determine the most adapted anesthesia protocol. Then we determine the cytotoxic drug most treated to the clinical situation. Bleomycin and carboplatin can be used intravenously or intratumorally in cats, dogs, horses, but also in exotic pets. Cisplatin could also be used in some situations, but exclusively in intratumoral injection in cats, because of risk of severe adverse events in intravenous administration. In feline cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma, bleomycin remains the first-line drug based on the numerous studies available in scientific publications. A recent study highlights a similar efficacy of intravenous carboplatin in this cancer. Intravenous administration is recommended to avoid important exposure to hazardous agents of personnel and the environment. Seraphine will be treated with carboplatin at the recommended dose of 210 mg per square meter. From the weight, the body surface area is deducted and using a specific table, the carboplatin dose is calculated. When bleomycin could be used, the dose could be directly determined from the weight thanks to the conversion table. The cytotoxic drug must be prepared according to guidelines for the safe use of hazardous drug. A closed system during drug preparation and administration is mandatory to minimize harm to the personnel exposed to the drug. Finally, the anesthetic protocol is determined according to individual parameters. In a cat with no other pathologies than squamous cell carcinoma, flash anesthesia is sufficient. I recommend an intramuscular combination of butorphanol, midazolam and meditomidine. For pain management, association of meloxicam and buprenorphine is recommended. In the second step, we prepare the Electrovet EZ for the treatment. The electroporator was initially switched on after connecting the electrode, the foot switch and the power plug. The electrode is chosen according to the treatment area and the tumor type. In squamous cell carcinoma of the nasal planum, the L-shaped electrode is generally used. The cytotoxic drug is injected slowly, not less than 2 minutes to prevent pulmonary fibrosis and at least 6 minutes before the electroporation. Apply sterile ultrasound gel over the entire surface of the tumor and 1 cm all around for the margins. Then the pulse electrical field is applied starting with the margins of the tumor and then the tumor itself. Margins of 1 cm is recommended on squamous cell carcinomas to minimize recurrence risk. Then I press the pedal for the first time to charge the device. Once I hear the charge indicator, I activate the pedal a second time to deliver pulses. The treatment is repeated a second time on the same area after 90 degrees rotation. 
The procedure is then repeated until the entire area is treated. After the treatment, anesthesia is antagonized with atipamazole. Post-procedure pain is monitored with adapted pain scale. Once discharged from the hospital, treatment with meloxicam is recommended for 8 days. Owners should pay attention to maintaining a good appetite. Wearing an Elizabethan collar is recommended for 8 days. The main adverse events following electrochemotherapy are local pain and the appearance of a necrotic crust in the following days. A follow-up is recommended after one month to evaluate the healing and to determine if a second treatment is needed. Electrochemotherapy is a relatively easy to apply local treatment of many neoplastic diseases in companion animals. Electrochemotherapy has proven to be an effective treatment for many cutaneous, subcutaneous, perional and oral neoplastic diseases, especially for feline squamous cell carcinoma, with recently published response rate of 95%, including 65 to 80% of complete response after one session. As of today, I have performed more than 300 treatments of cutaneous, subcutaneous, oral, intranosal, and perianal tumors in dogs, cats, ferrets, rabbits, birds. For example, we managed several cases of oral low-grade stage 1 lymphoma in dogs, allowing complete response up to three years. Electrochemotherapy can also be applied in nasal cavity carcinomas in dogs, thanks to an adaptive probe recently developed. For example, this dog was presented for stage 1 nasal carcinoma and radiation therapy was declined by the owners. Electrochemotherapy allowed a local control of the tumor and more than one year after the treatment, we have not observed any recurrence. Moreover, electrochemotherapy is useful to manage neoplastic tumors in horses like sarcoids, melanomas and carcinomas.